Wait, I remember this. Lilica, Mary, we have enough now. Let's go back. But there's still so many of them. I know there are, but we wouldn't be able to eat them all. Remember, girls, we're not the only ones who live in this jungle. We have to leave some for the others. Do you understand? Oh. These berries are your favorite, aren't they, Mary? If you want more, I'll give you some of mine. Just forget it. What kind of pig do you think I am? Oh, okay then. <laughs> <laughs> Monster. I twisted my own memories just to avoid facing the truth. That day, I was so scared, so scared. I couldn't do a thing. I didn't have the courage to look death in the eye. <sighs> a great warrior, ever triumphant. My daughter, I shall always be watching over you. Mother! My time-space warp system is almost complete. Time for a little siesta. Hmm. Hmm. Forgive me, Jupus. As your assistant, I've always admired and respected you. But today, I have no choice but to disobey you for the first time. Uh, uh, what? Tony? You mean... 
This device has a critical flaw. I've told you about it time and time again, but you never listen. If it's released as is, the next public trial will definitely end in fatalities. And you, you've always taken such pride in yourself and your work. I know that a failure like this would make you quit your research altogether. I've been doing this research with you for ten years now. This is our dream, both mine and yours. I love this work just as much as you do, but this device isn't fit for release yet. You're a genius, Jupus. I'm certain that one day you'll discover a way to correct this defect and make our research a success. As long as you don't lose your pride as a scientist. All these years I've been able to work beside you. I'm so grateful. Huh? What the? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Forgive me. I'm such a klutz. Uh, I take full responsibility. You idiot! You're fired! Do you hear me? Get out of here! You did that on purpose, Tony? What in the world were you thinking? Huh? Oh no! Did I do this? Tony was absolutely right! This design has a fundamental critical flaw. Why didn't I notice it myself back then? Because I stayed up working for a week straight? <laughs> Not very likely. I'd never make a flub like this even if I were exhausted. So that means... I didn't want to admit to a mistake my assistant pointed out. My pride wouldn't let me, so I just pretended I didn't see the flaw at all. Oh, what a pitiful, petty man I am. And still, Tony saved my life as a researcher. I... I... I lost my best assistant, all for my scientist's pride. Oh, what have I done? Jupus, I see you finally realized what true pride really is. Tony, I'm so sorry. I have no regrets. The ten years I spent working with you, Jupus, it was the most thrilling time in my life. Me too. Jupus, I never had what it took to do research by your side. I pushed myself to exhaustion. I did everything I could to try to keep up with your talents. But you taught me so much. The power of a strong heart to make the impossible possible. A scientist's pride. Here, take this. Huh? Tony, come work with me again. We'll get that research right this time. Together. <sighs> It's okay. No one would want to be my assistant now. No, I'd be happy to. I bet you can complete that project now. I'm sure of it. Why don't we give it a shot? The two of us. You mean you've forgiven me? By the way, I'm the only assistant the scientific genius Jupus Tuki Magano has. And it's going to stay that way. Tony, I'll be waiting for you with some gourmet coffee. Hmm.
Is this a vision? Funny, robots don't usually have visions. Wonder what's going on. Mark, I'm gonna keep working hard. You'll see. I'll be turning out inventions left and right, just like the old days. Oh. Doctor, still morning Mark, I see. I guess Dr. Picaccio really needs his son. It's so sad. No, Steve. That's not it. Huh? Mark? Take a look, Steve. And this one is nearly finished, too. I'm so excited. I must have had a little too much to drink. I should know better. What? It looks just like a human. Dad could see what was coming. He knew we wouldn't have much time left together. So, he went to work and started preparing for a new life. That's Dad's new life. What he's working on over there. Huh? Wh what do you mean? He put my memories in you, Steve, and made you experience lots of stuff. But not just because he misses me. He did it because he wanted to perfect his new robot, too. You see? He's making that one for you. Do you understand now? That's your new body, Steve. What? My... my new body? You always wanted to be human. And that way, Dad would be able to love you just like he loved me. Right? Well, uh... More than anything, that was your greatest desire. And Dad, he knew that. That's the reason he started making it for you. You're right. I did want to be like a human. I always envied you, Mark. You see, it wasn't just you who had this desire. It turned out to be Dad's dream, too. D Dr. Picaccio's? What he wants is to set out on a new life with the two of you. That is the dream that you two share. That strong hope, the power that you both have in your hearts. Here, this is for you. Dad's not looking back at the past anymore. He started moving on toward the future. There's no need to worry about him. Well, I guess this is goodbye, Steve. Mark. I want you to take care of Dad. Since I can't. Mark. Ah, here you all are. Very good. I'll combine your Dragalums, power from your hearts, and fashion them into the ultimate sword. Are you ready? Good. Then I shall begin. Anohama via Cycros. Hanam la Ziram. Lulmulzega Theo Rosef. O oh, ye spirits connecting wind and sky and land, make these holy lights born from noble souls into one and bestow upon us the ultimate unstoppable sword. 
Grant us your power! Wow! So that is the Dragellum Sword! It is complete. This is the Sword of Souls, made from Dragellums. The Sacred Blade, Zeo Cycros. It may be able to defeat Mother. It is our last hope. Now, Jaster, take this sword and win back a future for our entire galaxy. Zeo Cycros. What a beautiful sword. Would you look at that? This is unbelievable. Is this all rune? What a horribly disgusting sight! If this got scattered through the galaxy, the whole kit and caboodle would be destroyed for sure! Whoa! Ah! 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 Here we go! The time has come. So what makes you think we can beat her? Listen, everyone. Believe in the power of the Drakelums. This is our final battle. Let's end this. This is it. Give it all you've got. We'll go as far as we have to.
Did it work? Wait a sec. Something ain't right. It can't be. have you? Don't make me laugh. You're no mother either. You're just a wretched woman sucked in by the power of Rune. You... No, it can't be. It's absurd! Ridiculous! You no longer exist! I have borrowed this young man's body in the hopes of correcting the only mistake I ever made. Not destroying you when I had the chance. That's right. It's over, Ilzarbala. You came across the first drop of rune that appeared in this galaxy. for power. You allowed yourself to be taken in by evil. Your greed turned you into the hateful demon you are today. Don't you remember? You once served under me in my domain. You were known as the sorceress Ilzarbala. Of course, that was 50,000 years nonsense. ago. nonsense! I was never a worthless, feeble human. I am the Almighty Mother! Now and forever! So the rune has taken your memories, too. Then allow me to give you something in return. A peaceful death! This is over, Ilzarbala. We're gonna crush you like a bug. As if we lose in the mud like this! You! Jaster!
it be. I cannot. I'll release you from your suffering. I'll release you from the endless hell you must live in for eternity. Ah! profitability. Shall we collect it then, sir? Hmm, yes, do that. What's going on? that coming for a while not good now that mother's gone the rune is acting on instinct looking for a life to take over you don't think they'll consume Falcog's bunch and turn into a new life form do you that's impossible This place is too dangerous. We've got to get out of here. No time for arguments. Just run! What's that? Oh, no. This is terrible.
gotta be kidding me. They've turned into that massive monster? What do we do? We don't have the Drudelum Sword anymore. Is there any way to defeat it? What are we gonna do? Is there any way to fight that thing? Iria, my child, you must not give up yet. <gasps> Mom! This is the power of every single Mari Glendon's heart as they pray for peace. They are also my thoughts for you, praying for your safety. This is the last Dragellum. Here, Ragnar. I want you to take this to my daughter. The Dragellum of Prayer. Yes, at once, Your Highness. No matter what may come my way. This will be your final battle. Fight, my daughter. Fight alongside those you trust. The Dragellum of everyone on Mari Glen. This is Mari Glen's hope. Finish this. Once and for all. Everyone? Are you ready? Mr. Rogue? Are you really Mr. Rogue? Of course I am. You actually stayed yourself while using the Star King's power. Now that's a true awakening. Jaster, you've got to get us to the top of that beast. Huh? Are you nuts? That's one formidable monster. If we all attack at once, we won't stand a chance. We have to split up and destroy its weapons. You're kidding, right? No, he's right. Let's do it! What? You're all crazy! We're gonna die! Whenever you're ready, Jaster. Here goes.
幸运
soon Rune will be history. All right, let's get this over with.
I can feel it. The blood of the Star King coursing through my veins. You are the incarnation of evil. I will end this once and for all with my own hands. Ha!
it's over. <sighs> we did it. We really did it, Dad. Ain't good. The ship's engine just exploded. We might not get out of this one alive. Damn. Run! Oh no! The road! We have the worst luck. is returning to its former self. We did it! We saved the galaxy! Phew! That was one a heck of a fight! But don't you feel at peace somehow? Well, I suppose we had some fun, in a way. All's well that ends well. I guess that's it then. Our journey has come to an end. About damn time. I was getting tired of covering you guys. Come on, Captain. Let's get our treasure and go home. Mm. What's the matter? Something wrong? No, I'm good. I already got my treasure. Just look at Kisala's smiling face there. That's more precious and valuable to me than any treasure. Don't you think? <sighs> You're going soft. This here is all I need. <laughs> This is goodbye. Yeah. I'm sad. 
But at the same time, I know I don't belong here. I have to be back in my own place. I know. I understand. You're no longer our baby, our Arius anymore. You're Kisala, a dear friend to everyone here. But I want you to always remember one thing. No matter how far apart we may be, you have a mother who's always thinking of you. Yeah. is really from 10,000 years ago. You and your friends have brought Mari Glenn back to life. Now we can finally return to our own galaxy. Thank you. Well, goodbye, Mom. Please take good care of her for me. Don't worry. You leave that to me. Kisala may be your daughter, but to me, she's like a son. Er, uh, strike that. She's spirited like a son, but she's a very precious daughter to me. I'll keep on caring for her like I always have. Just come out and say it, will ya? She's more of a handful than any boy. What? Hey! Wait just a minute! You know, you got a point there. Did you see her? Did you see our daughter? Such a strong woman she's become. You can rest in peace now, my darling. For I am sure we can entrust her with Mari Glenn when the time comes. What is it? An unidentified planet has appeared in our path. The Cosmo Navigator doesn't have any data on it. That's ridiculous! No, it's not unidentified. It's Mariglen. What's that? The flow of time has been altered. Don't you see? Mariglen has returned to our galaxy. We really saved it. Well then, let's go check out the new and improved Mariglen, shall we? Yeah. Okay.
We have been waiting for you, Lady Kasala. How we have anticipated this very day. Huh? You mean, you know who I am? There's not a soul in Mariglend who doesn't know your name. We Mariglendans have kept watch in your stead for ten thousand years, waiting for your return. After all, you are our queen. Me? A queen? How can that be? Please, take this. <gasps> Wait, but this is my mother's tiara. Indeed. The ancient queen Fradius directed us to bestow it upon the new queen, Lady Kasala, who would appear in ten thousand years. We have carefully passed down that tiara from generation to generation. And now, finally, we bequeath it Unto you. I am so pleased. Oh, Mom. What are you talking about? Kisala has no interest in becoming this planet's queen. Come on, let's go back home. Papa, wait. What? I've decided. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be the queen of Mari Glen. What? Are you serious? Kisala! I want to carry on my mother's wishes and rebuild Mari Glen. I want to make Mom proud. This is something that only I can do. You're talking crazy talk. You, a queen? Why, you ain't fit to be queen. Come on. Kisala, you've got to be kidding. Think about it. You know you're totally not queen material. Hey, wait! I'm sorry, Papa. I'm sorry, Jaster. Well, now that you've made your decision, please come this way. But, Kisala! Kisala! Oh, my darling Kisala! Oh. All right, let them go. I must remind you that Lady Kisala is to be installed as the Queen of Mari Glen. From now on, lowly individuals such as yourselves will no longer be allowed to approach her. Do bear this in mind. Now, if you will excuse me. What just happened? Oh, my cute little Kasala. <sighs> Captain. I think this might be the best thing for her. Everyone has somewhere they've got to be. So is this where Kisala's gotta be? Yeah, I think so. Come on, let's get back to the ship. Yeah. Agenda now, Jaster. I don't know. I think I might just travel through space a little more. Everyone's gone back to their own planets. The dog in Ark's feeling pretty empty these days. By the way, I heard Rosa finally got out from under Longardian rule. You sure you don't want to head back there? Yeah. Eventually. Hmm. It seems like something's holding you back. Maybe you think a certain someone will come back to the ship if you hang out here long enough. Oh, uh, um, it, it's just that... 
Say, uh, is the captain napping again today? Yeah, that's about the shape of things. He's awfully laid back. The captain must have forgotten his duties as a pirate. Ah, uh, that's all right. I mean, look at the huge treasuries earned. Galactic peace. You know, I've never seen the universe so beautiful, so serene. Even when 
What's up? You look kind of cheesed off. Nah. I'm fine. Why are you still here? Not going home? Of course I am. Just as soon as our last mission's over. Or, uh, hadn't you heard? Our last mission? That's right. Uh, Captain! We're on our way to fight the battle of a lifetime on the all-new Mariglen! Huh? Oh, come on. You know what's important to us. We're gonna get it back. Got it. On that fateful day, Dorgan Goa and his crew made off with their ultimate treasure. Historical records indicate it may have been the very last heist they ever pulled off as pirates. <laughs>